So this is it, we're off to pick up something very exciting. Our first day of owning a new van. Are you excited? I am excited. But you're also a little bit sad. A little bit sad, a little bit ill as well. A little bit ill, <laughs> Cheryl's got the lurgy. Um, but we are off to pick up our new van and we're a bit sad because tomorrow we say goodbye to Marge. <laughs> she's off to, a, off to a new home. So I'm sure she's gonna have lots of fun, as, as are we. Um, so yeah, we're off to a local dealer to collect our wagon and then start the fun of conversion. Hooray! Yeah. Looking forward to it? I am actually, really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a long, long. Le a learning curve, I think was the word I was trying to find. It can't be that long, we need to use it. Well, I know, you, yeah, promise you, me. I promise it'll be ready, not finished ready, but an acceptable level by August. No, we, no, what? that's not what we've agreed. What? We said the first week of the school holidays, you need to be able to go away in it. Nah, I don't remember saying that. Yeah, you did. I remember saying it being ready for the festival we're going to in August. That's the end of August. I'm not having the whole summer without a van. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Come along and enjoy the ride. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? We'll have it done in a week. Reckon? Yeah, it's not hard, is it? Converting a van, it'd be simple. Do it in a week. Yeah, well, I've written a big long list anyway. Oh, blimey, you want to find a bumpy road? Oh. Yeah, it's quite bumpy, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? So anyway, let's go and get it. Let's show you what the, what the van's like. I'm going to go and do all the boring paperwork with the salesman and then the fun will commence. Yay! Here she is. What you Which one are you filming? Da -da, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Done all the paperwork, yes. taxed, MOT'd, you've got the keys. No, you've got the keys. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> MOT'd. In short, let's just make sure they both work. Yay. Yeah. Oh, it's got that nice clean vehicle smell. Nice. Right, I'm off. See you, bye. See ya. Welcome to our first van conversion video. What what have we done? <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Why couldn't we have just kept March? It was all done and finished. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you've been and watched our Camp Quirky vlog, you will know that we had been toying with the idea of a conversion mm. and then we spent three days in a field looking at conversions, drinking beer, and then the next day we went and bought a van. <laughs> well, not quite the next day, but pretty much the next day. So. We love, well I love a list. We are prepared. We are. One thing you've got to understand with this series, there's lots and lots of um, self-build series on YouTube. There's some brilliant people who've done some very informative stuff. Uh, I've watched a lot of stuff, we've read a lot of stuff, we've researched a lot of stuff. This is going to not be one of those types of conversions because more of a how not to do it. It's not going to no, be a how it's, to. It's not a how not to, we're just recording our yeah. Journey. Oh, <laughs> Let's record the journey. Recording the journey. Recording the journey. We just what well, that's what a vlog is, isn't it? A video log of something you've done. Yeah. So it's, so like it's gonna be an interesting thing. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Our plan is to do a weekly video with what we've done that week. So some weeks there's gonna be loads and some weeks there won't be so much. Because we do both still work full time, well almost full time, full time and almost full time. So you know work and demands and kids and dogs and all that. Anyway, right, let's go. We've okay. got a plan. We've got a plan. Week so. one, day one. So, sell Marge. Well, kind of done. <laughs> Someone's going to pick her up tomorrow. They've not paid yet. You just wait until, don't, don't well, pass wait, Do we won't tick that off yet. Right, buy new van. Done. Yes, welcome. Woo. Yet unnamed. Might yeah. be named by the end of this vlog. But as of today, it doesn't it won't have a be. name. We spent ages thinking of a name and we can't. We need to feel the personality. We need to find out. Apparently it's either male or female. I don't quite know why, because it's a van. But Cheryl's can forget the vibe that it's a boy van rather than a girl be a van. Boy van because, this time. because she does. But I don't have a boy baby. I'd have boy dogs. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, insured. Done. Tax. Done. Expensive. <clears throat> 
Right. Planned the layout on paper. Yeah. Well, on the computer, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so, we're going to do that. I'm going to add something now. I'm going to put a mark out layout. Thing is, though, if we, we're going to mark the layout on here, then we're going to take these boards up. What's the point of marking the layout? Well, that's why I said we could just draw it on, just so we could feel... Can we do that after we've taken the boards off? Or just... Well, uh, no, I was going to draw on the boards. I was just going to get chalk and just draw. Oh, OK, we'll do that then. Just to feel, yeah. like, where... That's next job. Take where measures ready. goes. OK. Right, buy some tools. We've done that already. Well, that's good. Oh, OK. Yeah. <coughs> Use the van to clear the garage. So we brought a great big van to convert into a motorhome, stroke camper van, and the first thing we did was to use it as a proper van, <laughs> and we've cleared out loads of crap from the garage, so we've got some room to work. So good. Been to the tip, they didn't turn us away, and we got Wade. We did. So we went to the Way Bridge to find oh, yeah. out pre-conversion weight, because I thought it would be really interesting to see how much the conversion weighs. Yeah. Also found out how much you weigh because you got out and then got back in. No, the scales were dodgy. Scales were dodgy. <laughs> right, we collected the van. Done that. Right. Other things we have done: ordered the insulation. Tick. And ordered the dodo mat. Tick. Because hopefully we're going to get that done in the next couple of days. Right. Label the ply for the templates will be <coughs> first job. Just thought because it's actually not badly lined out on the walls is it it's a no, useful we've got, we've got, measure yeah we've got some good ply uh, also where we brought the van from they had like a massive container full of wood they've taken out from all of the vans so i kind of asked if i could take a load and i'm going to use it as templates and for like marking in and what's that technical bit called scribing scribing so we can do it on a kind of a waste bit of um, uh, wood and then put it on a proper bit of wood so we've got loads of spare wood for scribing yeah yeah, technical fact. Technical fact. So, there is one other thing I thought we could tick off. Wi-Fi. Order the Wi-Fi. Because that's really important to do early on, isn't it? Well, no, but we, we met a guy, we got a discount, so we ordered it. Yeah. And it'll be useful to have it when we get the electrics. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. So we started well, yeah. ticking things off. Yeah, it feels good though. It's yeah. feel good to get things yeah, ticked off. but nothing's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but nothing's physically happened. Right, I'm cracking on, let's go. Yeah, you only need a mattress in, surely. Yeah, yeah that'd be. Yeah. <laughs> I've got time for this. <laughs> Armed and dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. Little tip I heard or saw when you're taking the bulkhead out, leave a couple of the top bolts in so it keeps it from falling on top of you and do the rest of them first. You're welcome. You know the bit where I said leave a couple of bolts in the top? I haven't done that. I'll put them back. And socks and crocs. Socks and crocs. This means it's too dark probably to see on the GoPro now, but where the flooring was screwed down, all these holes, don't know. We've definitely got water coming in from that wheel arch because you can see where it's run down there. So that's an easy fix. Same with that one, that's an easy fix. So maybe the water from there that's been seeping in has found these lowest points. I've looked underneath the van and it all looks to be clean and intact and the water's not leaking out so therefore why would it leak in? That's my theory.
Tea time. Well, back in the van again. Day, officially day two. So, or was it day three? Day three. Day three. Pick up day cut is day one. So, so far, we've got loads ticked off the list, which is good. I'm sure there'll be days where it feels like we tick nothing off. Um, so Steve's busy filling holes. And dipping his wet end on them. <laughs> Why are you doing? I've got a summer hat on. I just said I need a haircut. <laughs> you need a haircut. How oh, funny. Um, yeah, so all the plies labelled and out. It's all been cleaned out. Um, just ordered the windows. We measured last night. We were struggling to see really what, what we were doing. So we made some paper templates and stuck them on in different sizes to see what would work. Um, and where they'd go. There was one place we thought we'd have a window, but we can't because there's a big joint bit. <laughs> What's this bit? What would you call that? Uh, bit of the van. A bit of big, yeah, big joint bit that you're not going to be able to cut through to put a window. Um, we've decided on. Oh, you had a. Did you give an update about the electrics? No. So yesterday, Steve had a meeting with Roma about the electrics because we provisionally ordered a battery with them when we were at Camp Quirky. Um, and had a really good meeting yesterday online. Really nice, really nice bloke. Got an amazing name. Best name ever. Is he called John? <laughs> <laughs> so he's called Steve as well. Um, but yeah, that was really, really helpful. So they do your kind of your circuit plan of your van. Um, and we have decided to go fully electric. Um, we were contemplating gas, but it seems a bit of a faff just for a hob, really. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to go fully electric, solar panels, and then we don't think the even the maximum battery is going to be good enough for the heating system that we had looked at. So we're not going to go with that, and we're now going to have a diesel heater and it just plummets straight into the tank. Um, so did you order that? No, no, so that's going to get ordered today. Um, we just we're debating the colour of the vent for the outside. So that's that's well, there's no debate because one colour was out of stock. So that's the colour we're having. Um, so yeah, bulkheads out, rust check. That was really positive, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got some very fine bits to do around there, and that's your job in a minute. Yeah, the light sander that, hoover it all up. Yeah. So a few bits around the cargo, well, what would you call them bits? Cargo holdy bits. Yeah, I, I still can't decide what to do with those. Yeah, they're, so they're like rings on the, D-rings on the floor that you use for strapping pallets down and stuff. Um, and decided whether we should completely take those out or not. Um, yeah, you went to the wood merchant yesterday, so we've got some wood so we can start on the floor today. Top top tip on buying wood. Yeah, go to the wood merchant. Go to your local wood merchant. Do not go to the high street DIY store. Well, stores. you can do if you want to, but, but you'll pay, pay double. It was double the price. It was double the price. Yeah. Um, a sheet of eight foot by four foot ply was twenty quid, I think, from the merchants, and similar from the big boys on the high street was like forty or something like uh, that. Did you go birch or poplar? Oh, <laughs> Uh, I went, I went, um, plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I can't remember about looking. Oh, right. Let's get on with some sanding of rust. That's that sealant drain. shell has gone to screw fix the couple of bits. Going to take this back a bit of trimming off, clear out underneath it and see if we need any rust. Repair it. Let's get the right drill bit.
Chad, have you got protective goggles on because you're wiping the surface? Oh, I've been using tools. Look, this was my weapon of choice. Nice. <laughs> what do you think of them? It's not too bad, is it? Just getting off the flaky paint. I'm just cleaning it up now. I can paint it. That What's bothers it? me that that's wonky. I mean, it probably needs to be like that for the door, I guess. Hmm. Well, um, tell them what we decided to do about these pesky things. Well, I think we're going to get them out and then have a look underneath. And we've decided if we're going to clean them up and put them back in or we're going to fill it and fill it with foam. I've got some foam. Yeah. Well, we'll see. But we need to knock the neighbour's door to get the, a bit to fit that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to buy one bit for one job. So we've done that, we've also done the side. So we've taken the side step out, given that a good wipe down. Almost, all the grease off. So there's a little bit of painting to do here as well. A little bit of rust protection. A few brown spots and then filled the holes. The list isn't getting shorter, in fact it's getting longer. We need to add to the list then. <coughs> yeah, we'll feel good about taking this off. Mm. Oh, we also need to go on the roof today to measure for the solar panels. Woo! Roof party! That'd be your job, because you're lighter than me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rocking the two glasses, look. What's the verdict? Actually not as, I thought they were going to be rusty, but they're just muddy. <laughs> This is really sad, but I'm really excited to be doing this bit. You see so many people do it on the internet, on YouTube. Now I get to do it myself. So, had a special delivery. Not opened it yet. Hope it's the right stuff. Hope it's the right <laughs> stuff. Literally, I can't open it. I always wonder on YouTube when people get things out of boxes and go, look, I've got this new, whether they've actually opened it already to see what it is. Maybe that's just a cynic in me. But this is brand spanking new, it's still in the packet. There's an invoice, I don't care about the bill. Um, so let's see, try not to go too deep. Shiny. Three sheets. Three sheets. Here it is. Dodo um, sound deadening mat to go on the walls. And explain why? Everybody always says that you need to cover the panels to reduce the, the noise, the tinny noise, and, and take some of the decibels out of it, I guess, the noise out of it. So you cover it in this sound deadening, which is like a special scientific stuff that I don't understand and it reduces the the sound from things outside and general noise, I suppose. Um, and everyone always does that test where they bang it and go, oh yeah, that's better, bang it, that's better. Can't bother to do that. I'm just gonna put it on the, put it on the walls. Um, you need to cover between 30 and 50% of the panel. So I've only bought one bag, uh, one, one bag, one box. So I just need to work out how much you're gonna go where I hear contrasting views about whether you should put it on the floor, whether you should put it on the roof or not. Not entirely certain. So I'm going to work out what I need for the for the walls, definitely. And we're going to do above the cab as well, so I need to sum up there. And then whatever I've got left, I'm just going to fill in gaps, I suppose. I can't do any harm. Uh, likewise with the wheel arches, whether we should do them all or not do them all. Different views. So we'll see what we've got. We'll cover as much as we can as we need to. And then when we run out, we've run out, and that's all we're going to use. 
So there you go. This is why this is not how to do it. This is how we do it. Van conversion story. We need to put on the list, move list for the umpteenth time. So keep moving this blooming thing. <laughs> Now, just in case anybody's wondering, no windows are going in this side of the van, so it's okay. I'm not gonna put dead mat or sound deadening over something I'm later gonna cut out. We're only having windows on the back doors and the side, side door, so anything else can get covered up. haven't got a roller thing, so back of hand will do. You haven't got a roller? <laughs> See how long it takes to ruin my skin. Most of the sound bedding in is done. Like I said, we've only got the one box, not planning on buying any more, so what we've got is what we've got. Can you put sound deadening on the angry Jack Russell in the garden? Angry, <laughs> angry Bert in the garden. Bless him. He's come and have a look around. We'll let him in, in a bit. Oh, we will not. <laughs> so I've left some bits there because we're not quite sure where the exhaust is going to go for the heating. So don't cover them up yet. Likewise at the back panel at the top. Not quite sure where the solar is going to come in. So I've left the space there. Likewise at the bottom where the 240 volt comes in, so we left them open for now, but there's a spare bit of map for them. Cheryl's busy painting, it's her favourite pastime. Do you like painting? I love painting. Particularly when you don't actually have to care what it looks like. Yeah, good job, because <laughs> I absolutely hate painting. It was the water was getting in that. That bit there, wasn't it? That one, yeah. Yeah. So we've removed all the silicony stuff from there and off there, giving it a good clean. And now we're going to re-silicon. Going to silicon all the holes especially that one because that's the one that leaked which is surprising because it's got like a grommet in it but anyway get that clean get that clean do all these bottom ones here then run a bead of silicon along there got a masking tape in case we're getting in the paintwork put it all back on check it in the morning so we discovered we not leave <laughs> say that again your knobs are leaking. <laughs> My knobs are leaking. Um, so we did have water coming in one of these points where the no, indicators are. Indicators? Yeah. Uh, well, not indicators, well reflectors side or side lights or something in there. But we fixed that and now we've got water coming in where the hinges join the outside so the sealy bit on the outside um, doesn't have a very good seal on it so we are just taking those off both sides that one's a bit dirty so I think that one has done it before um, so better to be safe and sorry might as well do it while we can get to all the bits seal it all up In there, orange, orange break, juice break. Take measure, please. That's on the desk. So, a great tip I've found off somebody from YouTube 
They didn't even know they'd give me this tip, I just saw them doing it. And I learned lots from this person, they did a brilliant job. Um, but one thing that really stood out for me was I can never put a pencil in my, behind my ear and it stays there, it always falls out. So I've got a hat, tuck it into your hat, pencil stays there. So if you've got dodgy ears like me and your pencil doesn't stay behind it, stick your hat on, perfect pencil place. Full of useful information, mate. <laughs> so I saw the battening in. Whoop. That's got more, because that's going to be the shower. So we just wanted to be super sure that that would take the weight of everything. So it's all been sicker flexed in. Found that you can't walk in here now unless you don't have your shoes on, because your feet don't fit in the gaps. And Steve's lost his tape measure. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't film it. It's not looking perfect. No, I don't think it ever will. And it won't be on show anyway. I'm gonna get it in and tape it all down and I hate it already. <laughs> it's been great, third of the way. No, it's nowhere near. Why have you left these bits? Well, you're doing those bits. We'll do a template for those bits. Well, I've drawn it, I've measured it, it's fine. Okay. Oh, week one, day six. Kind of finished the floor insulation, PIR board. Looking quite good, making some progress. Just need to have a good clean up now. So let me give you an update of where we're at. Obviously the, the floor insulation is now done. Let me give you a close up look at that. I'm sure it's absolutely fascinating. Um, so you can see we've laid all the, all the buttons the, the horizontal and vertical sections. We've done a few more at the front where we think there's going to be heavier traffic of getting in and out the side of the van and around where the shower tray or the shower is going to be, however we decide to do that. We haven't decided what we're going to do with the step yet. So that's kind of a little bit unfinished. So we've got some extra bits of wood sticking out of the buttons basically. I think it's easier to cut things away than it is to add them in afterwards. So that's the plan. So yeah, it's um, well, I think it's looking quite good. Wheel arches are done. So we're getting, we're getting somewhere. So next job, I'm going to start this afternoon. It's, it's quite late now, so I'm not going to get much done. Um, I'm going to start to mark out the plywood floor.
Am I going first? <laughs> so here we are, this is the end of our um, first week of the van build. How's it been for you, all right? Yeah, good. I'm well, happy that obviously it's a bit unknown when you're buying a van that's lined out already. You don't know what's underneath and actually that was all good. We've only found a problem with the door magnets. Yeah. Which we have replaced, repaired. But then we ordered new ones yeah, because we've got new they would look ugly anyway. So yeah. we'll put, put those on. Put that in next week's vlog. Yep. Ready to go. So obviously don't forget, today is obviously Sunday. We've released this video on a Sunday. Um, on Wednesday next week, you'll get the kind of second episode of our Wanderers Wednesday. So it's like a quick roundup of what we've done that week. And Sundays are always the extended version, I suppose, of everything we've done. And our yeah. aim um, with this vlog is not a how-to, like we've said before. No, we don't know how to. No. <laughs> We're trying to work out how to. It's more of a diary of how we've done our conversion. We yeah. want a record of how we've done it, and we hope it will be useful for other people. We're not saying what we do is right, in the right order, whatever. But this is the order we're doing, order we're doing it doing in it. and um yeah more of a diary of our journey of our conversion and it's based oh god it's all about the journey it's based, <laughs> yeah and um, the order we do things is obviously you have to have some kind of order you can't do obviously the ceiling before you've done the insulation and stuff like that uh, and it's partly based on when things get delivered and when we remember to order them as well so all we seem to add this week is delivery after delivery after delivery. Yeah, thank and you to our neighbours. Thank you to our neighbours. <laughs> oh God. Uh, and thank you to our neighbours putting up the noise. Um, and thank you to our credit card company. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, battered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of expense this week, which, and we will do videos about like how much everything is costing. Yeah. Um, but at I the don't want to know. I don't no, want to know. But well, we do need to know. But at the moment, our priority has been making the most of, A, we've had some really good weather, and B, um, making the most we've got three weekends now now yeah. March has gone we are not going away at the weekend so we're going to maximize all the time we've got to try and get this in a state that we can actually go away for yeah. a bit in the summer and it's kind of planning it because in the evening obviously only got a few hours and you want a bit of time to chill out and just turn off for the day so you have to kind of plan little jobs for the evenings and things and like in bigger jobs like putting windows in which we might start next week no, we if will, we're brave we enough will, we will. we're going to do the max fan that's going to hopefully go in is that um, it's coming today. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so hopefully that will be in in the next video as well. Um, but yeah, you'll find out about that on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, like whether it happened or not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, the best thing you can do for us is give us a subscribe yeah. um, and ding the bell to be notified if you're interested yeah. in following. So uh, I'm going to say the word again: our journey. <laughs> don't forget updates of the week every Wednesday and then like full details and, and more info every Sunday of like the week's progress it will make sense eventually yeah cool lovely take Thanks care see you next time Bye. thank you very much